<sighs> what up? Late stream tonight. I'm probably going to be doing a stream like... It'll probably be like overnight. Most likely. I don't know. We got a lot of work to do in this game still. And uh, we're kind of running out of time. So I gotta make the most of it. Um, I think for starters, I am going to head to Novigrad. Or not Novigrad, Bowden. <clears throat> Reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Mm, yeah, what's cooking? What's cooking? I need to look up this thing. Um, what does it say? enemy defense Back, went around as they came in. Stopped here for a second, hid, and ran on. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Okay. Well, they probably got him from. Yeah. I was gonna say they probably got him from. Crossbow bolt and footprints <clears throat> deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Had a good sniper's position here. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there.
Alright, hoof prints. Speaking of hooves. Come on, Roach. Hey the order. Let's check out the, the, the lab over here. No. Nothing in here. That's not a lab. There's got to be something else. Yo, Verts. I'm, uh, I'm chilling. What's up with you, buddy? What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. Yo, listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Brethren. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two. Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six. Great start. Now step aside. <laughs> Delusions paying off over here. Ten teen? Wow, you guys are idiots. Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. Yeah. You shouldn't be in here. <clears throat> and Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radim tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. Yeah, it sounds like Radovid. Well, a handful <coughs> still wear the colors. 
And we must find a new place in this world. Honestly, couldn't give a shit about your grief. Not the tiniest, runniest, greenest little shit in the world. <laughs> you persecuted others, destroyed them. Now you've met with that same fate. So you got exactly what you deserved. A witcher moralist. Amusing, but... Feel I've met you somewhere before. I know. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our death. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant. Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. God damn Any right. Any last words? Oh, hold on. Uh... Yeah, axes. Fine, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's do an igni here. Oh my god! Dude! They all hit me at once. Just completely screwed me, man. I'm a... Young. And Joe put Rat took Web. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Might as well try the other dialogue. What Siegfried of Danell would say. Siegfried of Danell would. But how do you even. I know. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack de Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. No. Yup, we got him. Yo, special, what's up, buddy?
Come on. Okay. Got him. Let's get out of here. I actually am curious before I leave. They burnt this house down. Faster. But I'm curious if I can still go inside and take anything. I don't think so. They said I could help myself to whatever's inside, but you know, they burnt the place down, so. shit here. How many hours do I have? 122. Uh, I got the I got the bad ending, Ashen. Some decisions that I didn't think were a big deal turned out to be a big fucking deal. Fuck. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards, brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just kill them. Oh, so handsome and <laughs> so boring. Here, fuss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Oh. Mind if I? We got ooh, some Gwent cards, okay. Okay. Anything else? 
else I can sell. You paying top dollar for Fizz Tech, my dude? Don't got the coin that I used to have, you know, but I mean, it's still pretty solid. Shani, 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 I don't know. Should be here. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. News can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Oh, God. Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it to her? There's no denying her beauty, but my heart she's belongs not my to Jennifer. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Badanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. 
least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't the social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Mm -hmm. Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Where do I start? A lot of shit happened right. yesterday. <laughs> Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth, uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. A man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Frankly, I don't really know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, and we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. <coughs> well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Me neither. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. Huh. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. <sighs> the crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Sure. That works. Take it, you won't be missing this uh, little library of books that you have here. Just don't mind if I do. A wedding invitation? She's just like leaving all these super sick people here. Prescription.
make a little progress on this one too. I don't know how much coin I'm gonna need, but. the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. I'm sure we can work something Gonna out. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. <laughs> need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. <laughs> Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? You squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master uh -oh. Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. <laughs> but my orders... Fuck your orders! <laughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Suck it. Now march. Round you go. One, two, one, two. Appreciate the help. Just note. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid often horsed a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. What the fuck? Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen the purer example of the benevolent state. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist to the Maribor school. Van de Nuu. Long indeed. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? I mean, I guess. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little I keep his soul. But... Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. 
I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up we go. He's the dude that gives me crowns for my foreign currency, so. Pearl with topaz insects sold to Madame Villepin. Dress of khaki. This one probably also belonged to sorceress. Fetish, maybe. Beautiful. But first blow would shatter them. That may be a stern reprimand. From the collection of the mage Aramis. Codex Redaniensis, sole surviving copy. Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Hmm. A giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get to attractive terms on a mortgage. Mm, maybe. The auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Sure. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Helbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> All right, well. Talk to Vivaldi's friends, I suppose. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Mm. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest, uh, uh, transaction fee. What? <laughs> Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that they <laughs> within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. What do you got? Viper armor. Huh. Having a hard bargain with those prices, but uh, I don't know. It's a little pricey. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No. But Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. 
I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. A landscape. You detest them. Ever true. But it's got a lovely frame. Hellbant! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. Garrett of Rivia. Got your eye in any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right. Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Nah, faultest. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. Patriot, you ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here is a positively superb player. Superb. I've heard. Tawny at the Passiflora. Sat in on that, didn't ya? Mm hmm. Pretty special as events go. That were nothing. Mm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're betting big bucks. Let's go. 250. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards Let's out. throw them down. Uh, Geralt, maybe have a wee word. What is it? Well, mate, see as I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this fee of sorts, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin than a stink. So, what'll it be? Whatever. Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. You already said Get ten, on. dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's throw down. Uh, I honestly... Oh! Let's go. I definitely want the elf. For sure. Um... I haven't even looked at my cards in gosh knows how long. Well, if I were to pick any card, it'd probably be Natalis. I'll take it. Got some nice cards here. Nice. All right. I like the start. Um, throw that down. I'm cool with it. Dude, this spy card is so good. I'm, I'm glad I have it now. It's just a free two cards, you know? 
Whoa. Yo, he's playing some, uh, some big boy cards here. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I could Scorch and knock off eight there. Or I could do my free card, knock it down by six. I like that, because if he plays more cards, I can get better value out of it that way. Hmm. It just so happens I can decoy that. <laughs> Feels like a waste of a card, in my opinion. Wow, and he... Oh my gosh, dude. This dude's wasting cards. What is happening? Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna throw Natalis down because I don't wanna I don't wanna go too big here. Opponent has passed. Perfect. Um I think what I will do because I only really need to use one card to win. And I could do Scorch or I could do Biting Frost. Um, I think I will do Scorch, because I have an extra one. I'd rather keep my options open. My turn, huh? Well, let's see, I'll throw down, uh, throw down Geralt. I'm down. Mm. Let's see. Got a couple of uh, siege items here. A better idea. He can't afford to lose what he has now, so I like the idea of trying to bolster things up a little bit here. Somehow I suspected that would happen. Siege item down. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what he has. Ah, see? throw down to get my two extra cards. I'll also gladly use a Biting Frost. Bring those numbers down a little bit. Clear weather. Whew. Okay. Well, you know what? It just so happens that I have another one. <laughs> Get rid of that 10 right there. I should win this. I'm not anticipating any situation where I wouldn't make it. What's his, what's his ability here? Abilities that restore Restore a randomly chosen unit. Ah, interesting. It's random. 
Huh. I don't think that's really gonna provide any value to him whatsoever. Um, I think what I'll do, because it really doesn't matter either way, I'm gonna just throw Vesemir down and just bait that last card. And I will gladly throw this round. Let's get that. Get the dub. Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilda. A poor Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Yikes. Oh, 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 oh. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round <laughs> for a loan. Yep, basically. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back.
All right. It was bedtime for the kids. I had to help out. All right. Well, we won that game of Gwent. Feels good, man. Four fifty. Yeah, I had to fork over some of my winnings. Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and the rest. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Oh. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted. And a witcher appeared. Besamir. Of the school of the wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message. Asked my governess to deliver it. He visited. Under the cover of night. Night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Besamir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. <sighs> The first piece, the start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No, he died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. Vesemir, I guys. thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. <laughs> and now. Be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. I wonder what happens if you do this quest. Honey, Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. Had that ring on his finger. Shite, is it? I wonder if, uh... I wonder, I wonder what happens if you do this quest before Vesemir dies. I thought I had this quest chain started. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. Maybe Witcher. not, I don't know. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. 
The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Nope. Oh, a bit. Okay. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. I don't know. Hmm. Gotta admit, haven't the foggiest. You needn't have said it. Your crude looking mug, as you put it, radiates ignorance. <laughs> I bid you adieu. Shit. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical Arista cunt. I've grown accustomed. Huh. Esteemed lady, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, long lost. Come with me to the fort. Won't see much else, please. Listen, forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horst Masodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Uh, yeah, of course. Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah! Knew the bug would get you. Yeah. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romany. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Fuck it. The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignot bids 250. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, yeah, 300. Uh, give me that. My, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 price and sold to the white haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to <laughs> lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. 20. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold Van Rose starring. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. That's a freaking steal, dude. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. <laughs> Spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny, dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 
300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. 350. Incredible. Give me in there, dude. Let's go. Head, gentlemen, now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. <laughs> I'm just buying everything. Us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horse Basudi! Come on, afore some other cocksucker's stealing. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit <laughs> alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Good lord. Uh, this is Hearts of Stone. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, I. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? God damn, it, dude. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law <laughs> doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't I've already know been down that road. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Mm. I 
do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way horse to let you in there out of the calmness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Boxing the champion of Novigrad, yeah. That's right. Alright, well. See what this fucking garbage is that I got. Ooh, nice. Very nice. All right, let me see. I'm going to do the crypt first. Got him. Yeah, that's right. All right. It's not far. seen this side of you what side is that how do I put this your romantic side used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials often covered in blood well that's because you usually come round while I'm at work <laughs> off duty now waiting for you weaving a garland for the wedding a wedding whose a dear friends from the Academy Speaking of which, would you go with me? That was your notice, I said. Wait, wait, that was your notice? What notice? The one posted by the seven cats. 
Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. If any intelligent, amusing, <laughs> handsome, none too old nor none too young man owning at least one decent looking frock. <laughs> no, that's not mine. So, will you go with me? Or not? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Sure, why not? But Wonderful. as friends. So, it's a date. As friends! Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. We're friends. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spat on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Oh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't this want. This is no crypt. Wait here. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Little grave robin. Sure hope so. Should look around. Votive fire. Bid in honor of the dead. Old custom. Alright, which way did I come in from? I don't even remember. Sorry, it doesn't matter. Eulalia von Everek died in 1250. Not who I'm looking for. Hmm. Old tombstone. Inscription's almost worn off completely. Alexei, aged 19. Beloved son and brother. That seems to be... Hmm. Probably shouldn't touch that. But we'll touch it anyway, right? No. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt. Every room.
fuck. Good lord, it's a lot of fucking mushrooms. He's got like major ties to the Ophiri from what I'm seeing in this crypt. There's like weaponry, all kinds of shit in here. Life and death. Fire and blood. Not this room, I think it's the lower room. Turn and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have ye. brought. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Ye. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voting fire. Blood and wine. Right? <laughs> wrong, ex wrong, wrong expansion. Fire and blood, life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. I fucking drank it, gross. Fire and blood, life and death. All right. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Yo, digital. Thank you for the twenty are, months. And why you've come matter little, for you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir. It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Damn your ovation. Kill him, Von Emmerichs. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> my, my. Old 
Artillery horse, I'll horse. Do whatever they say. Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they not itched much since I died. Uh. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Olgird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and all gears. I'm here on a business. I'm a swine's corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by. The whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True. We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot. So we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But, no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He's what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting. Out with it. What do you have in mind? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Yeah. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, but not to end with my death. <laughs> so how did it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut. Then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one. We were overwhelmed. They killed me. Crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Damn. Listen. Feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Old Geard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not all geared. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Mm. Listen, Olgir gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. 
Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tanker to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Fuck, man. Um... Come on, we're wasting time. I'm not to waste time! Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive, too? <laughs> Do not anger me, boy. If I've but one night, I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity oh my God. in my body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah. Definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so <laughs> fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Oh my god. Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me! Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm, there's potential in that. Yeah, we need to set some uh, ground rules. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life, which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? <laughs> oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. But what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, sugar plum. Let's say you we leave this thing, <laughs> There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I oh, take God. it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. 
<laughs> Geralt's a bore. Yeah, we'll do that one. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, oh my god. <laughs> to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his <laughs> taste in <laughs> This is going to be an interesting to quest. Tell, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> The haylofts we shall devastate together. I don't. I haven't played the previous games. I don't know if there was ever like a, an emotional attachment. But I, I'd rather, I'd rather just let him know that he shouldn't do that. Let's say we were more than friends once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Oh, God. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. <laughs> this whole witch's life. What? Those signs. I'd like to try one. Signs. Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight, what I would rather is what matters. Faster. Bloody fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rub. Stable withers. Well, well. See you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life, mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. Yeah, quit scaring my horse. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. This is very romantic. Fuck off. <laughs> Behold, 
Wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. No, not a doublet. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Yo, everybody knows that I hate doublets, okay? Oh, shit. Not stealing. Oh, no. We're not gonna steal. Come now. We're merely borrowing. <sighs> Oh, boy. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Oh, God. Oh, Perfect God. fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. No. Hmm. And we must be neat. No, not my beard! No. Oh, God. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes. He shaved swan, off my beard! Soft, supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. <laughs> you see, Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool, but I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? A big step, but I will think about it. <laughs> for now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. Eh, <laughs> for example. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, <laughs> it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. <laughs> Luckily, you've got me. All right, let's go. Let's we'll get talk this later. shit over with. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. <sighs> this way, my strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> hello world, I'm back. <laughs> this is gonna be a silly quest. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compare to you, my dear Rhubarb. <laughs> Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, 
Thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> what a lovely rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I do anything. <laughs> Let's go kill some monsters. Come, time to meet and be greeted. Time to say hello. Be nice now. Yes. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's so snow. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. Oh, God. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlog. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Right oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. <laughs> Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Oh, the quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent <laughs> A right decent chap. I mean, we're we're oh, playing <laughs> seems a curious choice for a bride. Did she come with a head? I to uh die? I assure you, which are my choice I've made. I to am, do with since God. I'm playing Vladimir, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna exhaust mine. most uh textile manufacturing dialogue. <laughs> Took a lot to convince him to get mother to agree to our as some would have it, mess alliance. Toh, you never told me. Whatever happened to fortune is of no import to me and my family. It isn't. John has told me the same. That your background doesn't bother me. Yo, Johnny, what's up, buddy? It does. Not at love's first blossoming, but give it time. Five years and you'll find few things that don't bother you. I'm beginning to find what you say bothersome. I don't know where you're from, but in these parts, it is rude to insult newlyweds at a wedding. Insult? I'm merely warning you. Know a thing or two about life, you see. <laughs> Geralt and his jests. He has a strange sense of humor. Very strange, I'd say. <laughs> Aren't you an extraordinary beauty, my dear? Why, thank you. You had your pick of gents, I'm sure. Where is this going? I'm attempting to discern why she chose you, Jonas. Mean you don't approve of my wife's choice? I've no skin in this game. I ask out of pure curiosity. Well, rein it in, or I shall have to explain my wife's choice to you, hands off. Out of pure pleasure. Why so testy, friend? Have I insulted you? Merely told your wife she was a beautiful woman, yet here I'm threatened instead of getting thanks. Have some manners. Geralt, that's enough. <laughs> she simply fell in love, that's that. Jonas, I'm sure my friend meant no offense. 
We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them <laughs> a few you. lovely maidens. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their. It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Let's drink. Darling, but you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Uh. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require <laughs> guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the fire eater arrived around noon. It is fill of food, not fire. And went for a stroll to air some gases, you say. Air some gases. That horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. He didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. He'll be able to pay if it goes missing. I shall find him. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I... We'll find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical hey, at least Vladimir knows how to ask the right questions. <laughs> I shall find him. We thank you. He's gonna let Geralt take over and do the work, though, because he has, like, no idea what he's doing. I bet. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, blood. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. <sighs> Fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. <laughs> That'd be funny if in the description it said, Use Geralt's Witcher sensors. <laughs> the hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled in its blood. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. A bone not so clean. I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel. The other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. A dog made these tracks true. But a small one. Yet judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. <laughs> 
a broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. <laughs> A spark spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come. Chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat, and a coward. Anyone at all? Oh, boy. Hey, there he is. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. <laughs> Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What oh, do we God. do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, <laughs> could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse, now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. <laughs> you sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get started. Woo! Oh. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Find me true. Boar was fleeing a noun. And Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Ah, oh, my dearest cap. <laughs> Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you mm. said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. He ain't I'm got no coward. balls. I'm cautious. Now what would become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. I just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. <laughs> Standing straight ain't a requirement. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drag <laughs> it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. 
I've got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, but just about enough of this. First they release the out, <laughs> then come and steal my leader. Now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Oh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. <laughs> coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. <laughs> Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Gads! Bear! Bear. That, as much as your cock's a tentpole. Hide, <laughs> you blind fool. <laughs> Often bore shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see. Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed, you are not, Master. Uh, I believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen mm. here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close. <laughs> no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some. Nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please. <laughs> I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire. We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> Yeah. Look, look, 
look, look. Munchkin's playing cards. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Fuck yeah. Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. Your need for insults? Yeah, no need for insults. Uh, well, okay, we're, yeah. It's no insult. It's the truth. He's a midget. Like <laughs> oh my said, god, this is so that's mean. an insult. Would you call your chum a giant? Shut up. You play in or not? Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. <laughs> oh my god, this quest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> even they're when just like face bombing. I needn't care. I shan't lose. All right, let's see. Did I? I got a new card, but hmm. I have actually this is a pretty good hand um, I think what I will do I'll reroll the horn and I'll reroll Desimir is this fucking impenetrable fog. Enemy strongest siege units. Damn. It's fine, I guess. Uh, no, I have not played the standalone Gwent game. Ooh. 
this is good. This is really good right here. I could take down a lot. I got 16. Let's go. I'm starting it off. Okay. Well. Uh, the weather cards like reduce um, they reduce damage from certain rows so the fog is ranged the cold is melee and the rain is siege I am going to try to bait out a couple extra cards here just to see what he does. Mm, two extra cards, huh? Let's see if I can bait the faction ability. Nope, that fucking blows. Happens though, I suppose. three cards um, I'll get two more I'm gonna have to forfeit this round or like give up the crystal this round I think we'll be all right though
guess I don't really have any risk. Even better. Knock two cards with one. Give him Dijkstra <laughs> with a whopping one attack power. <laughs> Yikes. Yo, I got him. I got him, dude. I'm all in. Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses' ears on your asses noggin. <laughs> oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <sighs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as perfect <laughs> the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all oh my god, dude. knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> Wildly entertaining, yeah. <laughs> This dude. <laughs> Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. I don't think Yennefer's gonna be too happy to know that I got uh, good at this. possessed by a ghost. Good thing the main quest is done and I don't have to talk to her for the rest of the game. <laughs> With Who says this? I do, for one. I do wonder what you mean by intimate interaction. Oh, it's a fascinating process. One you as a scholar and medic might find especially interesting. I'd gladly explain it in detail, but it's horribly loud in here. See the ladder? Leads to a loft. Surely there we'd not be disturbed while investigating the nature of intimate interaction. Uh-oh. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um not sure I do. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? I couldn't resist. Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. Uh, I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. <laughs> Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> dude! You are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? You'll have nothing of interest to say. The man is a dream. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? <laughs> it was an innocent kiss. I'm Not gonna blame me. it on him, obviously. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but. But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. Seems I've snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin. Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and drops it on a wheel. No. Much. He never does anything simply. Definitely not. <laughs> not on a whim. I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Night beckons us not to jabber it away. Alright. Midnight is young. Come, let's do something. The capping starts again. If I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig. Don't let me stop you. I can win you move. What charm, what grace. Drink! Sir Dwarves, may your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never grow. <laughs> Are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. <laughs> and the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? A king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honors the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride. He's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain. Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Let's chase some pigs. It sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. 
Get that cripple out of there. Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into oh, a God. bed. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as I a fox. I should have raided you years ago. So how one chases a porker. Yes. Yo, cryo sticks. Right, come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shani? One big pen. <laughs> Come on. No. Yeah, get him. You foolish peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher. We ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. <laughs> Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However, it part of the full the Witcher lore experience. There you go, dude. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. <laughs> what do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize? I won for her. The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Hmm. Tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course, but still. Yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that <laughs> so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who <laughs> sounds good, dude. Here? Yo, do your thing, buddy. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. Yo, Alex, what's up, buddy? Fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> Did it hurt when you fell from the heavens? <laughs> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. Which I, well, don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? It's starting to sound like Dandelion. In Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. <laughs> Everything will be made clear. Desky, step away from the barn. Who the devils are you? 
We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our dad on his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What uh -oh. are you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally. We would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. <laughs> Geralt, you, you saw it. it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Bury your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Uh -oh. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence balls. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swans. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I rebelled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shade? Damned cretin cream to me. Embarrassing to take a little from a boar. Oh. Had enough, Lordlin. I'll teach you to woo and dupe decent maids. Got my eye on you. Nesky, let's go. <laughs> Got my ass beat. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? <laughs> you always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess, you do the explaining. Oh, all right. <laughs> Your methods, quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. Oh, God. <laughs> my dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Sheesh. Pulled from the water, an old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I 
got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. Well, poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Nope. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid will be pleased as bunch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And all flandy. <laughs> Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. And she ain't obliged. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> he just he just did the rip off thing. To come. He just Looks like we got a couple lost shoes. <laughs> Gotta be, hold on, let me see. So these are not the... So what I found must not have been the right shoe. Because I'm not seeing... It just says lost shoe, it doesn't say Damn mucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silk could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes are tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. <laughs> Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. Is there an upper? Gingerbreads now, but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madam. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. What sort of boulder dash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time that we touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shai. I must introduce myself. Gaunta Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. I seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like them. Ooh! Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Eberek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. Who? I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest. Nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Yikes. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. All geared ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. All geared learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgir told everyone I flew at all five, took them all and all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgir visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. 
Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Hmm. Time is short, is it? Shani, I'm sorry. I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. No, it's not. It's midnight. <laughs> All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it lie. The kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride if they have me. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, there's no need. <laughs> I shall make a speech and that's that. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Or tell me. Who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Hey, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles, am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks oh to you. God. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the cafe. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> All the maids join in the cafe. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. <laughs> the cafe times have come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. What the fuck? Maybe writing a letter to uh, his brother. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Gear's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Don't dirt, but good.
A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? <laughs> Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. Guys, I'm with Yen. I'm with Yen. I can't do this. Maybe I could just keep her company. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <sighs> Never mind. I should find Eldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. <laughs> the problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one. Have fun. <laughs> hey, 
Let's see. Stranger. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. The one dude. What does my Yennefer entry say? Sensitive and predictable. Rowan. Good need ought to lift her spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, want to cheer her up? Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. <laughs> she might be a sad drunk. I don't I don't want alcohol to influence any like decisions here. A Rowan. Shani mentioned she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Think I'll pass. Sad drunk. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna try to keep alcohol out of it, and I think I'm gonna try to do. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. see each other so rarely. Figured old Geard could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. You remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. Years are flying by, yet all I had to do was study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. 
all alone. You've got friends. Me, for one. In that case, let's drink to our friendship. Good. To friendship. Friendship. I like friendship. I'm afraid the drinks got to our friends. Horribly off. Did you enjoy the wedding? It was all right. Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. <laughs> there was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <sighs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I, I just don't want it to go too far. I gotta be careful because I don't want to fail sure. the quest. <laughs> the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, if business is booming. Good. I'm right to hear it. See, coins tied to our end. But don't tell me your battle axe. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that! I'm Vassy! You can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honored. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son in law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. <laughs> I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him or chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Um, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. <laughs> That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. <laughs> they go to learn and pursue their century. passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. <laughs> Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in that condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. That was Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. Then she finally walks up, and you know exactly what she wants. What do you do? 
Those are my choices? What? I'm with Yen. <laughs> Why am I having this conversation? I chose Yennefer. <sighs> They're like trying to force me into... <laughs> I must have picked something wrong earlier because... I don't have a third choice. <sighs> I'm gonna just say I prefer her. Huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Hmm, changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Ooh. Gorgeous. been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. No, oh, no. Only one way to find oh, out. Oh, I'm with Yennefer. God damn it. Why is this happening? <sighs> <sighs> this is what happens when you install DLC. Yen is not going to be happy about this. She's not going to find out because, like, I won't talk to her for the rest of the game. <laughs> so, how'd it compare? God damn it, man. I mean, it's too late now. <laughs> I don't know what completely different means. God damn it, whatever. Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, <laughs> oh boy. has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Alright. We're gonna leave it at that. Love to stay, I would. But we ought to get back to the wedding. Oh, yes. Yes. That's best. Penny for your thoughts? Just thinking that friends should stay friends. Mm -hmm. Good. My feeling, too. I have a lot to think about. Alone. So I'm not going back to the wedding. Not really fond of watching drunks stagger around, anyway. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. All right. Well, we got that sorted. What happens in the DLC stays in the DLC. <laughs> yep. That's right. I got, yeah, I got, I got a way out. I, I had to learn my lesson after Kira because I, f I actually failed that quest. Because I like, I dick, uh, like I dipped out of it too early. And she told me to piss off and then I couldn't recruit her for the fight with the wild hunt.
Yeah, Stimmy, you can. I just... I just didn't do it right. Overgrown wings, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Let's play Gwent. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? Any mob demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Yeah. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Play out your cards. Throw them down. Let's go. <laughs> Cow. A powerful new unit card to take its place. I'll bite. Let's see what you got. I could take Bezemir. I have no spy cards at all. What the fuck? I got nothing. this but That kind of works. I really need a spy card. This is not going to go well otherwise. Alright, let's see. I've got a decoy, so if all goes to shit, I can... I can sort it out, I think. rain, huh? Gee, okay. Ah, great. Okay.
I gotta try and see if maybe there's another option. to do. Literally just passed with that. Okay, well, get wrecked, bro. Shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. <laughs> Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, I'm sure it was no run of the mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. No dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage, with no thought to it actually taking hold. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about I feel like he's got a lot to do with a fury because... If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to do in Shaver's eager to face Olkian by never ending the infamous. I think uh my medallion. There was a lot of that stuff magic. in the crypt. It thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Your band chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carouses are roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. Their company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as molds. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. <laughs> A theory was a Delphi on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for a lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Ophiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Hmm. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish, and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Filled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. 
But have you got any proof? I do. Blood in his hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Alright. can't summon my horse for some reason. It bugs oh, out every once in a while. What? I got one shot. Fuck, how are these guys hitting so hard? What the actual fuck? Like, I'm like out leveling these guys. And I got one shot. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? Nah, I am be precise. You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. I gotta go see the barber. Hmm. You have come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want a king 
count on. Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm -hmm. I'd go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist. I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Bliss to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. <laughs> We've all seen stuff in our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, <laughs> are you in? Or are you not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, would you? I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the ocean. Day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, the barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the bolt door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower and drop us alive. The other to open the vault. A safe tracker or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. <laughs> Anything else? Aye. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. I'm in. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? It's also a mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull them in. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break in, artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the just now performing with a troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Their specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Ah! Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the router troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff. Alias Beef Patty. Uh -huh. Beef Patty? Oh, we're all in on Beef Patty, dude. Think he's fit? Pudgy face. Doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Nova. So, the half-man. 
Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Okay. All right. Opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam, a specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Vault door for him should be his cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some little ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turned us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back, and by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both. Actually. Both. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Uh, what about the patrols? What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I'd say. To pay his suspicions. Hmm. Now the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. We're gonna brew up a laxative for him. <laughs> convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. You play Gwent? No. Nope. He doesn't. For? He doesn't play Gwent. Chat. He doesn't play Gwent. See what happens. I want to grab a snack here soon. I'm getting a little hungry. You, Quinto. You want to know you? A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right. What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hans of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say. Gwent. Buy him out. Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? 
Hmm, why not? Good news and the price on his head will double. You in? Yeah, let's do it. What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed. All right, let's throw down. Let's throw down these damn cards. the best setup here but it'll be all right dandelion he's gonna decoy it up all right I'm down I got I got decoys This is good. This is very good. I like it. Did I finish the main game? Yeah, I did. I sure did. Let's see. Draw an extra card. find something later I could put it to my advantage uh, I got dandelion might as well torrential rain huh
The cow spawns a strong enemy, or like a strong card when I remove it from the battlefield. Himself using that, as far as I know. Gotta be careful here. Um, wouldn't mind throwing Siri down to try to force some extra cards out to play here. See how this all plays out. I'll let him play whatever he's going to play to try to win this. has no cards left. Oh, damn! I had a fiend show up. Okay. Here, I got plenty. Pass for me, too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands. The Tretagor maneuver. With cards like that. Get him out of here before I fucking burst her. What? How did you? Fishbone did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. <laughs> now, do tell. What's he need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Evelyn. You make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. 
Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. You Eveline Gallo, the Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Eveline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Yeah, get going, bud. Very well, once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. Oh, good and fine. We've not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. Then I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I mean, let's go. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Me now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right, let's go. All let's right. get this shit over with. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares. Damn the risks. Come. And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. <laughs> wow, Troy! What? But I... Shh, Geralt, grab your crossbow and get to work. Oh, boy. Audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Witcher? Alright, I gotta prepare a mixture here. Cleansing mixture. Good. Pretty sure it's a laxative. They're gonna be shitting themselves. Be shit until they drop. All right. Um,
no. Slows enemies within 10 yards. in that. I guess I'm probably gonna do specking again because I'm not really happy with this build. To say. Lance Corporal Butts left. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. Is he mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the test apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. <laughs> I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Say. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the facilities. Yo, Crazy Matrix, happy Lunar New Year, buddy. Mm, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. What about you guys? What do you have to say? Fish chowder for some of the day. That true? Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. It's the gumption to enrich our gruel. Uh, right. If only we'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Just as bored as you, mate. I'll see you orsons later. This mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys at the garrison on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. 
too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Yeah, free Out of charge. Of the kindness of your heart. I, I'll help. Out to kindness. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word. Understood. I ain't paying no five hundred. Yeah, screw that. Delusion level three, bro. You save so much money if you just upgrade delusion. I, I actually feel like it's like. We'll let you go up on that bridge. Uh, yeah, I think that's like a way that you get in and out of town in the early game before you get the marker for Oxenford. You need a pass or something, which you end up getting like pretty early on. And Countess Yvonne of Lanexeter's necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, Nixon, it's the DLC. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, his fault. That's our time. Never line, you enter through the tower when you patrol around this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Got a horse sense take on this secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. But if you were to... Find that location, I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. I'm gonna get anything else. Additional security measures, traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. What about the vault? How is it secured? With a door. But you ought to be able to handle it. Any other problems, we resolve as they come. Anything else? Hmm. All good and fine, except... What if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Alright, all right, let's go. Let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With the old man. Uh, obviously. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Yeah, let's go fucking now. Yeah. 